Looking to open up your liquid passport this season? Super wine girl Angela Aiello is back. Let's see how she dresses this time of the morning. <laughs> we, <laughs> ca we caught you by surprise. <laughs> Good to see you. You're looking Hi, fabulous. Bob, Thank you. Happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays. Okay, so we've got another uh, uh, taste testing here and some uh, <laughs> some fantastic <laughs> locations. Is it okay before we start if I pair with donuts this morning? It's early. Oh, absolutely. That's such a fun way to do it. I love it. <laughs> what donuts do you have? <laughs> um, I've got uh, sour cream down here. I'll pass you one virtually. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. Where are we starting? Washington State? Yes, okay, so we're opening up our wine passports this season, and we're heading to six countries uh, today. And so our very first one is Washington State, just a little south of the border. Uh -huh. And I know you're a big Cabernet guy, and I feel like people are looking for places to explore their wine styles. And Washington State, for me, is just a wonderful place for Merlot, Cabernet. This Chateau Saint Michel Cabernet Sauvignon, $21.95 in the LCBO from Volcanic Soils. 12 months in oak, just dynamite. I think you're really going to love it. Yeah, okay, we didn't rehearse this. Should I be pouring while you talk? Yeah, you could do a little <laughs> little pour and a little taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is nice. Wow. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Full-bodied, a great wine. I mean, the, the next wine's a little different. Mm -hmm. We do have a Pinot Noir here from uh -huh. Australia. Yeah. And so we're going from Washington to Australia. We're going to open up this Pinot Noir. It's oh, that's elegant, my cue. Impressive. Yes. <laughs> Give it a little pour. You can practice your pouring skills yes. today. How am I doing? And this, this wine is from 25-year-old vines. It's the Yering Pinot Noir, available at the LCBO for $24.95. Uh -huh. It was actually Victoria's very first vineyard with vines planted in 1838. Wow. This Pinot Noir is, is magic. I really do love this I'm wine. I'm loving this. That mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's nice. Mm. A, co a cooler climate region, so you get those elegant uh, fruit forwardness and that uh, that really that freshness on the palate too. So yeah, that's really outstanding. Lovely. Okay, that's a good selection. So, so two new world wines. Now we're headed into old world. We're headed to France. We're ah. gonna be pour, your, pour yourself a little taste of the Chateau Valcombe, the mm -hmm. Epicure. Now, over the course of the pandemic, I'm, I'm really trying hard to teach people about the various different ways that they can purchase wine. And, and through local wine agencies, there's there's great ways for people to explore their uh, their your wine styles through ordering mixed cases. Mm -hmm. So this is a wine that's a specialty available through the Gibson Family Group. It's a blend. It's organic. And it's from uh, Mont Ventoux in the Rhone Valley, where actually the Tour de France happens in a very small estate family hectare vineyard. So, uh, sorry, is, is Syrah... Yes, it's Grenache, Carignan, and Syrah. Yes. Okay, is Syrah and Shiraz the same thing, or are they? Yeah, they are. They're the exact exact same grape. They're stylistically a little different. Syrah is sort of an old world style, and then Shiraz is a bit of a new world style. Okay, that's nice stuff. Mm. Yeah, we're going that's on to an delicious. Next. Okay, so then we're off to Chile. We're drinking uh -huh. the, I'm, I'm switching up our tasting today, having a bit more fun in how we taste, but the, the Novus Sauvignon Blanc from Emiliana. This wine is organic, it's certified sustainable, and in fact, many of the wines from Chile are actually fall under a sustainability code that wineries must follow to become sustainable, from vineyard management to production and process to their social responsibility with a code of ethics. So from vineyard to table, from wines of Chile, you can really um, you know, enjoy and feel good about the wines that are in your glass. Yes, and that takes us to our uh, next selection in California, uh, Trinity Oaks. Uh, they're very focused on sustainability, aren't they? Yes, California is another great region for sustainability. And also, this wine is a wine where you buy a bottle, and then the winery um, is actually collaborating with a tree planting organization, and they plant a tree for every bottle that you buy. It's a really good bottle to feel good about. Yeah, right on the label there. One bottle, one tree. Great idea. Yeah, yeah exactly. Okay, traveling closer to home. Yes, and then finally we end because there's no place like home for the holidays, yes. which is where we're all going to be. <laughs> but uh, we have a Blanc de Franc here, a very unique and hugely celebrated wine. I'm a big fan of this wine from Two Sisters Vineyards in uh, the Niagara River and Niagara on the Lake. But give this give this wine a try. Okay. This is made with Cab Cabernet Franc. It's 100% uh, Cabernet Franc. It's a very rare type of wine, and it's made mm -hmm. by superstar winemaker Adam Pierce. And I was recently at Two Sisters last weekend, and I did their fire and frost experience outside, as well oh. as the restaurant. You can 
book it all online. It's such a great uh, place to head into as you're looking for sort of maybe a little bit of activities to do over the course of the holidays. But this is a wonderful sparkling wine to pop the year off. Um, you know, and just head into the new year with some some bright eyed and future yeah, this, very great things thinking. This you know? is a great way to get rid of 2020. Super Wine Girl, thanks so much. Good Thank to you, see Bob. you.